Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're not new. Today I have another Louis Vuitton comparison video for you guys and I hope that you guys enjoy this one. This one is between the Victorine wallet as well as the Louis Vuitton card holder. This is a very simple card holder and this one is a full wallet. This wallet actually is a tri-fold. So you have three different sections here. You have a coin slot up here and then you also have six, seven, eight. You have eight card slots there and then you also have a bill compartment for your bills so i really love both of these items honestly to break it down to it like if you had to choose one i would say choose both <laughs> um they both have its pros and cons but i feel like you kind of need both of them for different different situations in your life i do want to mention a few pros and cons about both of them so first i'll go ahead and start with the card holder this one is super small and super compact so this will fit in any of your wallets this will also fit in the mini pochette if you guys even wanted to you can carry this in much more like smaller pouches really easily so i really like that about it so obviously for the card holder you can only carry cards but you can carry cash in the middle which i do have i have my bigger cash in here just because i don't really want to put it with my other cash and for if i am um carrying the card holder i do have smaller cash with me so i just carry this um i can just carry like smaller bills like this and then i carry a money clip with it because the not a money clip it's an ollie clip but the ollie clip serves as a money clip because the magnet is so strong i do really love it for that i just think it's really convenient for me and it's really easy to carry with you um i'm gonna go ahead and just sanitize my hands really quick because i hate touching cash but i do anyway um so yeah, I really like the um, I really like the card holder because they do have so many different prints and so many different leathers that you guys can choose from. They have Ampriant, they have canvas, they have um, I believe they have Vernie or I don't know if they still have Vernie, but they used to have Vernie. They had the baby pink like rose ballerine one. That one was so cute. I really liked it, but I know that Vernie is like really hard to take care of, especially because it can actually um, it can actually get like scuffs and stains, and Louis Vuitton does not like take it off. Like none of the fashion houses actually repairs Vernie leather so it's like one of the more delicate leathers to get but this one does fit in most bags i do think that they are unisex because i feel like a guy can use this just as well and it'll look perfect like you can't even tell like oh that's for a girl or oh that's for a guy i think that these are very unisex and they do have the men's line as well i believe they have zami graphite and zami um noir is it noir or they just have the noir monogram but yeah, or the Eclipse monogram, that's what it's called, Eclipse monogram. Um, so yeah, they do have a lot of different like prints, different um, styles that you guys can choose from. The only wear that I can really talk about this is like probably the glazing. The glazing can um, get damaged over time or it can probably melt if it's not done right. Um, but glazing does chip over time, so you will have to get it repaired if it's something that you're using every single day. And then on the used card holders, I've actually seen the um, this front section here like folded a little bit up like outwards um and i don't know if it's because they stuff it with a lot of cards or cash or if when you are grabbing your items if you're like pushing this part forward that is one thing that can um it can be an issue if you do do that but um otherwise i don't see any other wear that can happen with this like yeah it'll get stretched out a little if you put cash in there but it's not a big deal to me i always carry cash anyway so i don't know if you if you guys can see but there is like a super super tiny gap um but that's not a big deal because if my cash is not in there then i'll just carry more cards to avoid that and then with the victorine wallet this one is a wallet that carries the three c's cards cash and coins and i really love that about it because i am always carrying all of those items and i just think it's really compact um this is a medium bags lover's dream because for those of you guys those of us who love carrying medium bags this is the perfect one for us because it fits in all of our bags it carries everything that we need it to i know a lot of people are avoiding carrying um carrying cash for because of the pandemic but obviously if that was not a factor in today's society in today's world like i know like whoever thought that we would live through a pandemic like this is just crazy i never in a million years thought i would have been dead in a million years but like i never thought that like we would live through this like that's crazy but i'm so glad that i don't have kids that have to go through this because that'd be crazy but they'll be reading about this in like the like textbooks which is even crazier and then um like i mentioned before this is a trifold wallet and as far as where this part did fold if you guys can see that because i did like stuff it with too much cash um i just had a lot of small bills i think one day and i just left it like that and it's never like gone back to normal um i have had glazing issues with this product um when i first purchased it i went through about four of them i believe i think i returned to one of them had a hole in the coin slot and then the other one actually had glazing like all over the wallet 
um, and then after that, I actually went in stores to go look at some, and um, like I think two of them were actually crooked, like in the front, like where it snaps, they were actually crooked. So you really have to like be careful when you are purchasing a Victorine wallet because it can have those issues with it, especially if you're purchasing online, you can't really look at the item before you get it. And I think that was like one of the reasons why my account was also flagged because that was also an issue. And when you are returning like an item that has something wrong with it, they don't note that. So they just count it as like a full return. So um, it can count against you. Um, the flaps can fold up. Um, oh, in this card section here, the flaps can fold up if you are like stretching it out to get your um, to get your cards. So I wouldn't recommend to stuff every single one of them. I usually put most of the cards in this section here, and then I'll put some behind here in this little pocket. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, it's just like normal wear and tear, like what normal wallets would probably have with the card slots. I've seen a lot of them, especially the Josephine wallet and the Sarah wallet. They do have that problem with it. The Josephine wallet was actually my first Louis Vuitton item that I have ever had, ever, ever, ever. I got it from one of my roommates, like back in college, we exchanged gifts and she gave me a Louis Vuitton wallet and I gave her a, I gave her a Tiffany & Co necklace. And um, I remember that wallet was like $3.95 or something like that. Uh, yeah, so that's how much Louis Vuitton was like 10 years ago. $3.95 and then now the wallets are like upwards up to like six, dollars $700. Some of them even like $1,000. Um, so that's really crazy, but I would recommend going in stores if you can to get this wallet because you do want to look at it before you purchase it and before you like decide that you just want to grab one off the website. Um, I do recommend to actually look for it first and this is a perfect gift for like mother's day or something or like for um for like christmas for like one of your really like close friends or like a loved one i would love to gift this wallet to someone that i love um i just think that this one is like so adorable and i i really love both of them like i can't really say like oh i like this one more than this one because i, I really like both of them like they both serve a purpose in my um in my bags and for this one i actually just carried in I actually just carried in this back section of my bum bag so I just had it like that and it fits perfectly like it's so tiny and compact um I did I did see some people ask me what I thought of the world tour I do love the world tour bum bag but I think the vaquetta kind of matches my style a little bit more and then with the regular victorine you can still fit that in there which I think because of that I will actually probably switch back to it or I don't know I, maybe I'll just leave it but um it does fit comfortably it doesn't bulge out or anything and you guys can see like can you see how much stuff i have in my bum bag like this bum bag is packed and like <laughs> this bag just carries so much and it's so like it's so me like i just love it so much but oops yeah i did have some coins in there that i didn't have a spot to put them in um, but yeah, I just absolutely love this so much and my favorite. Anyway, we're not talking about the bum bag today, okay, Jenny? We are talking about card cases. So yeah, I really love both of them. Like I said, I can't really choose one over the other, but for like my lifestyle, um, just because I don't carry, I don't know. Sorry guys, I just turned on the light. I didn't realize it was off this whole time, but um, like as far as like wallets and card cases go like i don't choose one over the other for like any particular reason it's just like whatever bags it fits in more comfortably like i've even carried this one um in my nano speedy and i still really love it like it still works like i like i don't i don't know i just use both of them like whenever i feel like i haven't seen the other one in a while i'll be like oh i really miss the card case so like i'll go and get the card case but i have seen some people say like if you're gonna get a card case then get one from chanel because it's only like a few hundred dollars more and it's just as durable because it's leather and they can repair it and everything. I actually do want a Chanel card holder, um, but I really love my Louis Vuitton one and I love that it goes with all of the other items that I have. If you have like a Chanel bag or if you have other Chanel pieces, then like I would say go for it. But if you want something that's just going to match and like work cohesively with like all of your products, then I would say to get the Louis Vuitton one, especially because it serves the same purpose and it's like the exact same thing. Um, and yeah, so I don't, I don't know. It's like... It's hard to say, but I love both of them. I'm sorry, you guys, I can't choose in this situation, but both of them are great. The Victorine is like, honestly, my first love though, because ever since I saw this wallet on the website, I was like, oh my God, I need something that can hold my cash because I was just using like a little pouch. Like it was a All Saints, it was an All Saints wallet and I had like a little pouch and I was just carrying everything in there. But this wallet, 
was like my dream wallet like i always knew that i wanted this wallet i didn't want a big one i didn't want like you know those longer ones i wanted this exact victorine wallet and i have like no wear on the button either um oh you can have like hardware issues with it or like leather issues if you guys have um different colors because they do have uh rose poudre yeah rose they do <laughs> i can't even they, they do have rose poudre and then they also have a red one with the dummy e bean print but um i've had no issues with my gold one so yeah that is everything that i wanted to talk about in regards to these two slgs i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you guys found it helpful if you guys are trying to decide between any of them i would say go for the victory if you don't have that many cards honestly if you have like just a debit card and your id then get the card case but I don't know. I love, I love both of them. I really do. I love both of them. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe down below and let me know what other videos you guys would like to see from me in the comments down below. I would very much appreciate it if you guys gave me your input. And um, yeah, I just cannot wait to chat with you guys in the comments. So let me know your thoughts and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.